no pair of cross country skis, but it'll go. This lake could literally freeze over there. We gotta get down off this mountain! I wouldn't say we're exactly smashing it here this morning, considering the sunrise doesn't show up until 10 o'clock. You know, the nights are long and there's no excuse for not having been rested, that's for sure. We're just gonna head down the valley and spend the day, you know, just glassing from the valley bottom and seeing what we can find. We're pretty excited right now. We've spotted a ram. There's numerous ewes and lambs on this top of, the, or on this hillside behind us. Typically what I do is, you know, this time of year, kind of pre-rut, just look on the fringes of where the main group of ewes and lambs are if there isn't rams in with them. And that's exactly where we spotted this heavy broomed off old ram. This ram is broomed off heavy on both sides, just a good mature ram, and that's what we're looking for. So we're gonna try to make a plan to stock this guy, but. It's, he's in a tough spot. He's in the timber, uh, in the rocks, and making a good stock is not gonna be easy. So we're gonna have to take our time and try to figure this out without spooking those ewes and lambs. And if they all move into the cliffs, then it's gonna be a different story. Yeah, we've lost it. I could go up there, hit the top and come down. The only problem I see with us going up and across the top and then kind of down is that if we do spook those ewes, they're gonna come down and around the bottom of this cliff right across in front of them. All the ewes are 75 yards right there. So I wanna not spook them. There's the ram. But this rock is too steep and too slippery to try to shoot from. We gotta find a better spot or one of us will be end up at the bottom. It's called auditory exclusion. It happens when the adrenaline is level is just maxed out. It's tunnel vision. It's Carl had complete focus on the sheep and probably aiming. Was asking the right questions, but couldn't hear him. Couldn't couldn't hear you, Dave. Yeah, so we got up the mountain and uh managed to find these rams pretty easily which was lucky i think in a way but with those trees you know we had you know seconds or minutes at most um to get to get set up for a shot uh to get it on film normally i'm a camera operator i get the animal in my sights and greg takes care of the rest and uh and this time half of my brain was was getting that animal a great ram you know in my sights and another part was trying to communicate with Dave about making sure it was on film. And, and those two parts of the brain weren't talking to each other. So when Dave gave me the okay, I continued to film through, through my rifle, which is ineffective at filming and it's not great for, for shooting rams either. So the ram, he, he kept moving and then, and that was our window and, uh, you know, we managed to move and, and try and get another look, but, but in those trees, it's just either you have it or you don't, and it's really quick.
Yeah, we're we're doing pretty good with the amount of daylight that we've got. I think that you know we can find him if uh, Carl gets up here. He he got up to the top here and just in time for his hat to blow off back down the mountain halfway. <laughs> yeah, we don't have a whole lot of time to fool around. We have to keep keep marching on for sure. Keep the pressure on. Get up the mountain and find him. Carl, grab your gun. There's the ram. And he spotted us. to be in any circumstance because much more than that and uh, yeah people get blown off mountains we're just glad to be down here and uh, everybody's in one piece uh, minus a few uh, pieces of trekking pole I see that both Carl and I snapped our trekking poles in the wind so <laughs> yeah a little disappointment hike off down off the mountain you know we, we got right to the ram but because he wasn't going to sit up in that wind, so he moved down in the cliffs and we started slowly checking the cliffs, but he saw us before we saw him. Tomorrow, back at it. We just had a bit of a game changer with this better angle on this lower ram. He's the better ram of the three. From back there, it looked like he was just a tipped out ram that just barely made legal, but he's broomed back on an angle. That's the ram we need to go after. Either one of those broomed rams are great rams. We're gonna start putting on some miles right now. No matter how we go about these sheep, the wind is not in our favor. We have to be so careful in these trees. These sheep can be anywhere now. You got him, Carl.
We got a lot of blood here. We got a good hit. <laughs> I'm following you, man. <laughs> there was just something mentally a little more difficult on this hunt with it being kind of our final hunt of the season. And you know, we're running out of time and the season's done here in just a couple days. So it's, it's, this one's been a roller coaster and I don't think it could end any better than the way it just did. 